Hey, YouTubers. I'm IRS doing your schools in five seven. Yes. Also known as Dad. We, uh, first of all, we want to say we hope you all had a, a good holiday. Right, IRS students? Yes. Yes. We are uh, still on our holiday break. We're pretty, pretty excited. We just got back from spending some time with our family and loved ones. We hope that you yes. guys all got to, got to do that too because, you know, family is probably the, the most important thing that, you know, we really need to make sure that we spend time with our loved ones. And uh, right now we're spending time with each other, right? Yes. So we're glad to be home. We're glad to be sharing with you. We are super excited about a couple things. Uh, IRS, dude, what are we going to share today? We are going to share some Fords. Some Fords. Now, a lot of this, we were waiting to do a, a Ford versus Shelby. Sorry, not Ford versus Shelby. A Ford versus Ferrari movie, right? Yeah. Um, kind of uh, comparison. But uh, we kind of waited a little bit longer. And we thought, hey, let's just do what? Let's talk about all of the uh, Ford Shelby cars that we have, yes. right? So these are all different uh, Shelby models, you know, yes. versions of Fords and some different things. So we're gonna look through those um, and open up some really cool stuff, right? Uh-oh, is that a yawn IRS dude? Yeah. <laughs> Vacation is tough sometimes, friends. Okay, so IRS dude, real quick. Do we just kinda of wanna show our friends what we have? I'm gonna pick a couple things. We have this really cool Hot Wheels 100%. This is from a couple years back. So we have not opened this yet. We're excited to, to take a look at that. It's a really nice casting of the Shelby uh, Daytona Coupe, yes. right? Mm -hmm. The Cobra Daytona Coupe, okay? Which we know that um, someone we admire, Mr. Peter Brock of BRE Dotson fame, he designed that yes. Daytona Coupe, right? We've got to meet him a couple times, right? Mm -hmm. I know, pretty sweet. And then IRS dude, um, you chose a couple of Shelby American collectibles a couple of weeks ago when we were in Southern California, right? Yes. What are they? What, what, what did you choose? Um, I chose the 1965 Shelby, um, the 1965 Shelby Cobra Daytona Coupe. Right. And the Shelby Cobra 421. Or 427. 427. Yeah, 427, big block. The right? Becca one. SC, it did a little bit, right? And then, yeah, and the GT350, so we're pretty pumped. Yes. And then we also have, I think you have an Auto World uh, over on your site, right, RSD? Yes, yeah. we have the Auto World 1965 Ford GT4. Okay, super cool. And this one is really, really neat. We have a uh, Hot Wheels Hall of Fame GT40. This is the number two car. This is one of the cars that was in Le Mans yes. in 1966. And another car that was in Le Mans in 1966 was this number five car. Now this number five car was actually uh, put together by the team of uh, Hallman and Moody, but um, it's not technically a Shelby car, but it was part of the 66 uh, Le Mans, so we're gonna look yes. at that one too. And that's a Coyote show, that one's pretty sweet. Okay? Okay. So, we want our friends to do what, IRS dude? Stay tuned. Stay tuned, because we're gonna, it's gonna, we're gonna try to make, not make it too lengthy, and I don't know if we're gonna race these on your track, because they're pretty. Yeah, they're pretty um, special. Pretty special, okay, but stay tuned. IRS Student Schools in 5.7, we're going to take a look at some super awesome Shelby uh, vehicles, and we hope that you enjoy them. All right, you ready, IRS? Oh, another big yawn, but we better do this quick. IRS Student, you ready? One, two, three. Boom! Boom! All right, friends, this is Schools in 5.7, and my man. IRS Student. And we are back to take a look at some really cool Shelby die-cast vehicles. Right, IRS Student? Yes. Okay. Now, this first one, actually, um, I think you found this one, right, IRS, dude? Yes, yeah. I did. We found this at an antique store. This is the uh, Ford Shelby GR1 Concept. So, Concept means it's kind of an idea they had for a, a car that they didn't quite reach production on, right? Mm -hmm. So, so uh, this, to me, looks like what a um, Shelby Daytona Coupe would look like if it was to be made uh, in, like, modern times, right? And this, I think, is actually from 2005, a first edition. All right, should we crack this puppy? Yes. All right, let's take a look. Okay, this one is done in, like, a really cool chrome, right, RS dude? Yes. Okay, why don't you look at that one while I put this blister down. It's kind of like a mirror. A mirror it, finish, it, right? It, it kind of, It's kind of like a mirror, but it makes everything look funny. <laughs> Almost kind of, like, distorted because of all the different light bouncing off of it. Yeah. Now, you know what's funny, IRS dude, is when we saw this at the antique store, your dad honestly thought because the uh, plastic was starting to yellow, I actually thought the color of the car was like a gold chrome. Isn't that funny? What? It looked kind of gold chrome to me inside the plastic. Huh. So this is pretty neat. So this one, of course, has a, a chrome base, right? We said this from the 2005 first editions. Yes. 
Actually, that's a good find, Iris. I think that one's pretty slick. Yeah. I think it's pretty cool. That one's pretty cool. Yeah, we'll have to kind of... Of course, you know, there, there's no tampons on the rear. There's not much yeah. detail on the front. Um, it is just a regular old Hot Wheel. Right, it's a main line. But the whole chrome thing is pretty rad. Yeah. Right? Yeah, that's pretty cool. Black interior. Pretty neat. Mm -hmm. Okay, good find, Iris, dude, at the uh, antique store. All right, who's going next? Are you going... I think you're going next, right? Yes. All right, what do you have? I am going to do the show... The 1965 Shelby GT. GT uh, 350R, right? Yeah. So, IRS dude, this started as a stock what? Mustang. Mustang, right? So, we know the GT 350 was a souped up version of the Ford Mustang Fastback, right? Is that um, what the I believe it's taped. Is it taped? Oh, okay. No, it's not. So, uh, just a short story, our YouTube friends. IRS dude and dad were at a... Uh, a die cast store in Southern California, and uh, you spotted these behind the counter, right, IRS dude? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, the gentleman who owned the store made us a pretty sweet deal on these uh, Shelby American releases. Got it? Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Yeah, so we've never seen these before. Yeah, these, getting... these are super cool. Yeah, so we're excited. We've never seen these. We're, we're not sure who they're made by either. Um, they're yeah, commissioned um... for Shelby American, so we'll have to check it out. Okay, IRS dude, you tell our YouTube friends. About this puppy. All right, are you ready? Oh. Oh, um, yeah. Well, let's check out this Mustang and then we'll take a look at the others, buddy. Okay. Yeah. What do we got going on here? Hey, this is your car, my big man. You got to take care of business on this one. Sorry. Um, I think this is this is an actual brand by Shelby because it says Shelby Collectibles. Yes, exactly. Right. Okay. Shall we start with the first one? Yes. Okay. What are some of the cool features on um, this Mustang? I the do? doors do open. Okay. Dual opening doors. We like the uh, Tomica premiums have open doors lots of the time, yes. right? Okay. Um, kind of like our Auto Worlds that we enjoy in M2s, it has an opening what? Um, it has an opening hood. Now let's put that thing down and see how flush it is. Oh, hey, that's pretty good, Iris, dude. What about, uh, kinda does it, lo go Kind of looks like a Mach 1. Kind of, with, with the, the way it has the stripe. Well, this is a GT350, yeah. so the livery is definitely those twin stripes. The blue and white is such a uh, iconic color for the Mustang GT350. Yeah, it looks really good. Um, what about rubber tires, Iris? Do you tell everybody? Um, yes, those are rubber. Rubber tires. Okay, cool. And I think, is this numbered on the bottom? You know what this yes. almost looks like to me, Iris, dude? What? It almost looks like a, uh, a Johnny Lightning. But I do see on the very bottom it says... Shelby Collectibles. Yes. Shelby GT350. So I think it is a brand by Shelby. I don't know. It almost looks like, yeah. Maybe. Dude. Oh, for a minute there, I almost thought it had suspension because the back moved. Yeah. <laughs> um, that's pretty rad, IRS, dude. That's a good find. We have full deco in the back. What about the front, IRS, dude? Um, yes. Yeah, and look at the headlights. I think they're inserts. Yes, they are. Hey, that's pretty cool, IRS, dude. Good find. Okay, let's show the next uh, Shelby collectible we have. All right, let's put that to your side since you've got those guys. What's the next one? The next one we have is the Shelby Cobra. 427. Right, SC. SC. Okay, sweet. Want to crack that puppy out of there? Uh, these are a little hard to take out. Okay. So. Yeah, we did already kind of uh, start taking the blisters apart. We cut them open a little bit because uh -huh. we noticed that some of them were pretty hard to get out. Oh, this one is taped. Is it taped? Okay, should we get the knife out and get through that puppy real quick? Yep. Oh, I think you're, oh, your dad has it right here. <laughs> okay, let's do that off camera real quick. Yes, only uh, only dad should be using the knife, correct? Mm -hmm. Yes, this is true. Okay, there you go, Iris, dude. Okay. Let's, get, let's get that puppy out of there. This one looks like it has a lot of open features. It does. Sweet. And definitely don't be messing around with the windshield. Oh, plastic windshield. We want to be careful. Is that one of those twitchy ties on there, Iris, dude? Yeah. All right, the dag in there kind of help you out a little bit. Let's see. You've got the smaller hand, and sometimes it's easier. Sometimes dad just gets in there and manhandles those puppies and takes them apart. Okay. Yikes. Oh, yeah. Look and see. Ooh, I see some detail in the interior also, Iris, dude. Wow. That is really cool. Wow. Okay. I'm going to have to be really careful, friends, because we do have some plastic separate pieces here. And uh, dad does not want to break Iris's dude, dude stuff. Okay. Be careful, Iris, too, because I can tell we have lots of plastic on this guy, too. Like the roll. Oh, yeah. Look at the roll bar right there. So be really careful. Okay, let's take a look. How do the doors shut? Um, they shut pretty good. Okay, good. Yeah, let's, let's take a look at it. 
Yeah, lots of uh, really small doors, right? Yes. Yeah, that's a really cool roadster. I wonder if these are exact 164. Oh, they are 164 scale. It does say that on the package. Um, the steering wheel on this one, IRS, dude. Look at that big, cool, classic wooden look steering wheel, right? Yeah. Yeah, we've got the detail for the... Uh, the Shelby has the, uh, the Cobra has the gas tank in the back. Mm -hmm. So we've got the filler cap back there. Um, we've got the little bumperettes in chrome. Does that say Shelby or Shelby American in the back? I think um, it says Cobra maybe in the back on the license plate. Let's, let's see. see. Let's keep it so we can yes, see. Yes, it does say Cobra. It says Cobra. Okay, sweet. And then I'm kind of scared to touch it. I think that's plastic, huh? Yeah, plastic. So we really want to be delicate with that puppy. Yeah, that one is. And then we have side pipes. That are also plastic, right? Mm -hmm. um, these are all numbered. That's pretty sweet. This has a lot of plastic on it. It does have a lot of plastic. It's true. Um, do we want to compare similarities on the... Oh, yeah, we can. Maybe let's wait till the very end. Want to do that okay. at the very end? Because yeah. we have one other one, I think, to do. Okay. Oh, yeah. what is this? Oh, I saw that little piece of plastic. I think that's just from the, the packaging. Okay, Yeah, good. that's cardboard. I think we're good. I know, I saw that first. It was, whoa, did we break something? Okay, that's really cool. I like that. It's definitely delicate, though, right? Very Definitely delicate. delicate. Those doors. In fact, let Dad try that one real quick. E oh, yes. Okay, they are metal doors. It is really highly detailed, though. I'd say we, you scored all three of these for 20 bucks. That was a, I think that was a pretty I, good deal. Actually, I think it was 30. No, we you scored all three. I promise Dad remembers. I have the receipt. 20 bucks for all three. You got a sweet wow. deal. Okay. Last one, IRS dude, for the Shelby Collectibles. What is it? It is the 1965 Shelby Cobra Daytona Coupe. Yes. So the Daytona Coupe was actually the first um, Shelby model to win Le Mans before the uh, GT40s did. Yes. Yep. Mm -hmm. So that's pretty cool. And like we were saying earlier, um, we're big fans of Barry Dotson and it's Pete not. Brock. Oh, it's not taped. Okay, cool. And uh, Mr. Pete Brock uh, designed this in Shelby's garage um, in Southern California. Here, let me help you right there real quick. Yeah. Dad there. Good job, buddy. And uh, yeah, it's quite an interesting story if you guys do the research and uh, find out about how Pete Brock and uh, you know, one, of, one of the fabricators, Shelby American, made this. And at that same time, I think John Morton was also working at that shop. You know what, IRS dude? That one? Oh, I got it. I was going to have to get the uh, scissors and knife out and cut it. Okay. Oh, it always scares me when something pops off that something's broken. So, what's really cool about this is the uh, Cobras were going to Le Mans, and on the Molson Strait, they could only hit, uh, I think it was like, I don't know, 160 miles an hour or something like that, right? Yeah. So, um, Pete Brock and some of the other gentlemen at Shelby American said, hey, you know, we're getting, we're limited top speed due to our aerodynamics. So they basically started from scratch, but took the idea of the Cobra Roadster and made it into a fully enclosed coupe. And I think they ended up hitting speeds that were like 200 miles an hour, a little bit over. Isn't that crazy? Whoa. Yeah, pretty neat. Okay, take a look at it, IRS, dude. Um, let's see here. Oh, yes. the hood yep. opens backwards, yes. Oh, wow. That's sweet. Here, let's move your left hand so we can really see there, buddy. There you go. Good job. Um, the door opens very, very good. So this feels a little stronger than the uh, the the Roadster, huh? Yes. Yeah. Right? Can we see that uh, that nice American Ford-powered V8 in there? Mm-hmm. We can. All right. All right, dude. How about the spare, spare tire? Um, spare tire is pretty cool in there. Right? I think that... Of that... course they have to paint it white. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. And you know what? It goes along with the stripe that's on there, right? Yes, it yeah. does. Now, you know if these are coming from Shelby American itself, they've got to have good detail because it's representing their cars, right? Yes. Yeah, pretty cool. Um, the rear is pretty slick, pretty sweet. Mm -hmm. You know, it was pretty drastic back then to have that flat rear end and that, uh, you know, that spoiler back, that ducktail spoiler really helped aerodynamics. Super cool. All right, let's close the doors on that one, IRS, dude. Let's look at the very front. I think I see... Some plastic what for the headlights? Um, inserts. Yeah, I want to close that. Let's see how that closes. Hey, that's pretty smooth, honestly, I know, right? This one is okay. This one the doesn't. Best one yeah, about. this one I don't feel as scared about playing with. This one, good roller. Yes. Yeah, really cool. I like that, buddy. I like that a lot. 
That's really cool. I haven't seen a lot of really cool castings in 164 scale the Daytona Coupe, so I like that. So were these two um, <clears throat> in the same races? Um, well, I know that people campaign the, the uh, Cobra uh, Roadster and the Daytona Coupe at, at the same time, but this one was so much faster that this one ended up ending Le Mans before... I think 64 or 60, 65, I can't remember offhand, but it wasn't until 1966, the GT40s one, right? Yes. It's a big deal. Okay, we're going to look at those, I think, next, right, Iris, dude? Yes. Okay, cool. Let's put these on your side. Okay, very cool. And uh, let's take a look at some of the GT40s. Oh, actually, nope, I take it back, Iris, dude. I almost forgot. Oh, yes. What did Dad yeah, find? Yes. I found this about a month or so ago. This is yes. part of the uh, Hot Wheels... 100%. Percent series. And we were looking at the date on this IRS, dude. Uh, let's show our friends the box. We, we took this I believe you said this was made in 2000. 2000, right? Which so we'll, is 20 years ago. Yep, yeah, right. Because that is a really long time. Yeah, we are filming this uh, December 30th. Tomorrow's New Year's Eve, right? Yes. So tomorrow is the last day of 2019. This is oh, pretty yikes, much 20 years old. That's shaky. <laughs> Feel it. Is it shaky? Feel it. Uh, we might have to compare that to the Shelby American. Okay. Well, Feel that. let's see. Shaky it is. I'm going to tell you what right now, though. This thing is heavy. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, this is heavy. Let's wait for a moment, but let's definitely compare this. Um, I like the base. Not real, not realistic being blue. Oh, look, Iris, dude. It's not a rivet. It's a what? It's a screw. It's a screw. Yeah. So that would be easy to do a wheel swap on. <laughs> Friends out there, if you've seen our Instagram, uh, you know that... The dad's been doing some wheel swaps on Iris, dude. Yes. In fact, we're about ready to do a uh, a video on just some of the the wheel swaps and a couple of customs we've yes. done, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, this one is pretty... This one feels pretty good, Iris, dude. You're right. This hood is definitely... Yes, very wobbly. Yeah, it's a little wobbly. That's a little... It's a little shady right there. Um, the um, tire in the back. Yes. Also there. It's got the stripe. This blue is a little bit different. Yes, yeah, it's the, like uh, a, it's really light. It's really light, yeah, it's really kind of a light, light blue. Uh, um, bring the Shelby American yes. version up here. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's cool. So, yeah, take a look at that. Um, tell us what the differences you see, Aris, dude. Um, this one is actually number 15, and this one is number 26. Sure, different numbers. How about the, uh, the details or the way it's made? Um, what do you see that's different with the Hot the Wheels? Doors open on the Shelby Collectible, True. and there are no opening doors on the Hot Wheel. True. What about the uh, sturdiness of the hoods? You get that um, one. Um, yeah. <laughs> well, I don't, you know what? I don't know if the... Oh, the Definitely. Hot Wheels does stay. Oh, the Hot Wheels Definitely barely stays. This guy. You know what? This is more accurate, IRS dude, because this opens to almost 90 degrees. That is more accurate. This one... Yeah, I can see why they had a rubber band in the package. It doesn't want to stay... In fact, that's probably going to fall in a moment or two, right? One, Probably. Two, three. Two. Boom. Okay. <laughs> Let's look at the rears on it, buddy. We do have... Now, we're not knocking the Hot Wheels because we do love Hot Wheels. And I think, Iris, dude, this is the best version of a GT um, or a Daytona Coupe that I've seen. Are you with me? Well, let's put that back for one second because I want to look at the rears real quick. So, this is missing the detail with the uh, painted taillights. The Hot Wheels does have it. Um, I just feel like the construction on this one, this one just seems, I mean, even though it has some delicate parts, it seems a little bit nicer, doesn't it, Iris, dude? Yes. I don't know. That's just kind of our opinion. We have inserts here in the front. These are painted, so. But two really cool castings, right? Uh-huh. Yeah, I'm glad you scored these. Those are really neat. Okay, now we are on the to the GT40s. Yes. Okay, let's back these puppies up. Want to put that one on your side? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we were pretty excited about these. Um, we're going to start with the Auto World. So... The Auto World 65 Ford GT40, okay? This one, uh, I think this one maybe is representing one that was on the cover of the uh, 1965 issue of Car and Driver. Yes. Oh, look at that one. It just popped out of the, aye, just popped aye. out of the base. That's okay. So That's I guess they I... forgot to screw it? Actually, I don't think it's screwed in there. It's just supported by that uh, plastic yeah. insert. Oh. Okay, let's take a look at this one, Iris, dude. Now, we also are big Auto World fans, right? Oh, I already see something that's red. Oh, that's I thought you were going to say that's wrong. Okay, tell me, because I don't see it. What is it? Let's show our friends. Hold on. Okay, let's move your hand there. Can you uh, can you tell us, and maybe we'll try and oh. take care of it? I know. Oh, did it look like doors open? I don't think they do. I know it's tricky. It looks so... 
IRS dude, you're right. It looks so detailed right in those oh, lines. Gosh. It does, doesn't it? It looks like the door's open, right? They actually don't. Oh I know. Goodness. But you are right. It fooled so you, confusing. huh? <laughs> I know. I hate to disappoint you, buddy. I wish they did. I do really like, and I don't know if your friends can see, we have uh, the blue stripe around the wheel in the Goodyear. Do you see that IRS, dude? Yes. Really neat, right? Metal base, of course. And then uh, we have two different widths for the tires in the front and the rear. There we go. Okay, so that's pretty realistic. We have the exhaust, dual exhaust coming out the back. Mm -hmm. Pretty sweet. That's, that's rad. And we know that Auto World is always true 164 scale, yes. right? Yeah, pretty cool. Always. Okay, that is a beautiful model. I enjoy that one a lot. Okay, next one. Is it Dad's turn still, or do you want to do this one? Um, it's still your turn. Okay, so the next one we have IRS, dude. Uh, we're moving on, continuing with the GT40s. We have the number two car. Now, this one did um, compete in Le Mans 1966, right? Mm -hmm. This one was driven by Bruce McLaren. So this car actually, if you've seen the movie, uh, looks like it came in actually second place because Ken, Mile, Ken Miles did cross first, but uh, due to a technicality, which was really, really sad and unfortunate, which was yeah kind of a bummer, um, this car actually ended up winning um, the race. Uh, a beautiful car though, the number two car. So we think Hot Wheels did a really, really good job on this one, right, Iris, dude? Yes. And this one's pretty special. Yay. Ew, we got it. Okay. Want to take a look at that one? That one is beautiful. I love that thing. Yes. I'm looking at it right now. That black just pops. It's and super shiny. And that gold wheels. Yeah, the gold wheels. We're definitely not messing with this to do any wheel swaps. Oh, yeah. Plus, so, it already has rubber wheels. Right. This thing is perfect. Right? So, this is... Uh, you know what's funny, RS dude? Yeah. It does have a plastic base, though. Hmm. Isn't that funny? Maybe because it has a... Maybe because, like, the rest of it is metal. It's so detailed, yeah. It does have the cast mirrors. Okay. Um, which looks really, really good. Oh, I think Iris, he's got another yawn going on. Dad better hop this one up. Okay, it rolls okay. It rolls, oh, oh, look at that. Oh, that left front tire. The axle's having some difficulty. Okay, well, you know what? This is a really cool casting. It's really neat. It's really highly detailed. Um, but this more is more or less for display. Right, Iris, dude? It does roll backward pretty good. It is beautiful, though. That's one of the best, I think, um, Hot Wheels castings. Yes. Or versions of this car. Right? Okay, mm -hmm. cool. The IRS dude. I think it's the last one, right? Yes. Okay. This is actually probably our favorite. Okay, yeah. We love collecting Japanese die casts also. So your dad was looking to see what was out there. And this is a Kyosho. This is the car that came in third place in the 66 Le Mans. And this was driven by the Holman Moody team. Okay, which is really cool. Um, so technically not a Shelby American. Yes. Um, you know, racer team, a team car, but nevertheless, this is really cool. We have not opened this yet, friends. So, uh, oh, we're going to slide that out. There's some of the different cars. Yep, there's all the cars. We just opened that one, the Hot Wheels version, right? I would love to find that one, but I'm sure it's probably quite the premium if I was to look on eBay. Are you with me? Yeah, I yeah. think you said it was super expensive. I think I did find it was super expensive. All right, I don't want to get too in trouble with your mom, so I don't want to go too crazy. Boom, let's check it out. Now, this one IRS, dude. This one probably needs to be unscrewed, right? You want to look at the bottom for uh, dear old dad um, real quick? Um, yep, definitely. Needs Does it to need to be unscrewed? unscrewed? Okay. I said definitely needs to be unscrewed. Oh man, good thing I just found the screwdriver, friends. Okay, is it, is a, be it is a teeny tiny screwdriver. The good thing about most of the Kyosho is they're not screwed in crazy crazy tight like the Mattel cars. Yes. Whew. Man, I think like a giant or something was torqued down the Mattel ones, because yeah. All right, IRS dude, take it off the base. Got it? Want to lift it up? Boop, 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 boop. Sweet. Okay, that is my favorite. Look at that puppy right there. Okay, first that of all, is, super cool. is it a roller, IRS dude? Yes. Dude, it is a not. It's a nice roller. Now this Laguna Seca we have here is one of those um, window clings, right? So it's made of that that yes. sticky kind of plastic. But um, let's move it up a little bit. It is a pretty good, pretty good roller. That has issues with going reverse. But you know what, IRS dude? I don't think any GT40s are probably supposed to go in reverse. Yeah. It's just straight ahead, my bro. Are you with me? Straight ahead to win what? V4 victory. Yes. Are you with me? That's right. Okay. And uh, this one's really, really sweet. It has a plastic base. Lots of the Kyoshi do have plastic bases. Yes. You know, TLV are all metal. This one's plastic. But this one is really, really highly detailed. 
and it just looks so awesome. It looks so good. Great detail in the back. You got plastic inserts for the uh, exhaust in the back, right? The number five. I don't see, sometimes Kyoshi has some uh, flaws with the paint, but this one looks perfect, Iris, dude. Yes. I'm loving that. This is going to look good on the turntable, so we want you guys to check okay. that out in the end. It even has inserts, I think, for the driving lights in the bottom. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. All right, we've got kind of long on this one, but we're super excited to do it. Iris, dude, let's put our GT40s out front and center, followed by... Uh, ooh, let's flank side by side with a Daytona Coupes, right? Let's make uh, Pete Brock proud and, and uh, Carol Shelby and put those to the side right there. There you go. Okay. And what I put, let's put the uh, 427 SC maybe here. And then what else? Let's put the GT350 there. And last but not least, because it was pretty cool. Can we see that on camera, Iris, dude? We're going to put that concept uh, car back there also. What was that concept car called? The Ginaris, dude? The Ford Shelby GR1 concept. GR1 concept. Okay. YouTube friends. We know this one was kind of lengthy. But hey, we appreciate you watching. We were super excited. We hope you've been able to see some really cool Shelby vehicles uh, made in the 164 scale. Well, some of them <laughs> are not 164 scale. But they're pretty close, right? Okay. I asked you, is there anyone, anything you want to say to our friends out there? Thanks for watching and hope you have a good day. Good day. All right. Thank you, two friends. Take care.